Welcome to Be the People's News. Today we're going to see what Elizabeth Warren, now this is one of the Democrats vice or president hopefuls here for 2020. De she cares more about illegal immigrants and their children than American citizens and ours. And it's just the truth. I want to get one last question in sure. here because it is a story, a very important story in the news. It has to do with Molly Tibbetts, the young woman in Iowa who was murdered. Her body believed to be found yesterday. A person has been charged with it. This person is an undocumented immigrant. Actually, our law makes it a term specific. It's an illegal alien, someone that entered the United States illegally and murdered an American citizen. And she wants to speak about how we're treating women and children on our border, or we're separating them, how bad are we? Oh, the emotional politics, I can't stand it. It's going to make me tear up. Um, Mike Pence and the president have suggested the immigration laws need to be stronger so that people like this man who was accused of this murder were not in the country. Your you know, my, I'm so sorry for the family here, and I know this is hard, not only for the family, but for the people in her community, the people throughout Iowa. Hard? What do you mean hard? They lost their daughter. The parents lost their daughter. They'll never see her again, except in a grave and a tombstone. And you call that hard? What about that child being separated from her family because of your poor, lax, democratic, controlled for eight years, terrible policies of releasing criminals back into the streets? Um, but one of the things we have to remember is we need an immigration system that is effective that focuses on where real problems are. We have one, but the Obama administration decided not to enforce our own laws. So don't act like you didn't create this pr crisis yourself. Now you come through with the solution and it's open borders, just let anybody in. Yeah, good try. Um, last month, I went down to the border and I saw where children had been taken away from their mothers. I met with those mothers. You are a United States citizen, a senator that swore to uphold the Constitution of the United States. This means enforcing our laws. Don't give me this. Oh, oh, but these poor mothers, they're not American citizens. You have no obligation to them. You have an obligation to us and Molly's parents and the citizens you represent, not illegal aliens trying to get in. Who had been lied to, who didn't know where their children were. Who, who lied to them? It was the group that organized it, Pablos Fontero. Sorry, my Spanish bad means open borders in America. They have a list of demands. It's all on WeThePeople'sNews.com. And it, it, it's organized to break our sovereignty down. And United States senators like yourself are playing emotional politics to trick you into that. Open borders who hadn't had a chance to talk to their children, and there was no plan for how they would be reunified with their children. I think we need immigration laws that focus on people who pose a real threat, and I don't think mamas and babies are the place that we should be spending our resources. Separating a mama from a baby does not make this country safer. Neither does allowing people from third world countries that come from violence into America unchecked and unvetted. You see what that did? It killed Molly Tibbins, a United States citizen. What about her parents? When would they be re reunited? You don't think about your own people, do you, Elizabeth Warren? It's all UN globalist agenda of open borders, and we've had enough.